Welcome to PCB Heaven Tech Labs. Today we will demonstrate you a very easy to make circuit. The project is a TV remote control signal jammer. It's designed to confuse almost any infrared receiver by sending carrier wave garbage. The result would be more or less like if you were in a death metal concert with ton of decibels coming out of the speakers and you were desperately trying to hear your friend talking 10 meters away. The circuit is a 555 timer connected as an unstable multivibrator. The 555 timer oscillates at around 40 kHz and that would be the carrier frequency for nearly every infrared remote control device. The 555 drives through a transistor, an NPN transistor, two or more infrared LEDs. Those LEDs will create the confusion light. The circuit can be powered with a simple 9 volt battery and this makes it portable. Also, it can be constructed in a prototype board smaller than the battery itself and uh, this makes it easy to be hidden almost anywhere. To adjust the circuit's oscillation frequency, a 10 kilo ohm potentiometer is added. For the sake of, the, of this presentation, this resistor is uh, rather big. But when you construct your circuit, it's better to use a small trimmer like this one over here. If you're lucky and uh, you have an oscilloscope or a frequency meter, then you can finally adjust the pulses to the desired frequency. If not, just put the circuit against the receiver and experiment yourself. Now we will adjust uh, our circuit to oscillate at about uh, 40 kHz. Right now uh, it's uh, about uh, 10 kHz. We increase the frequency. 39.7, that's okay. And now let's test the circuit. To see if the circuit is working, we will try it with the TV and the DVD player. First, we will make sure that both remote controls are working. First, we check the TV's remote control. We increase the volume. Decrease the volume. Turn the TV off and on back again and now the DVDs remote control will go forward go backwards we stop the movie and start the movie and now we give power to our circuit and we will check both remote controls now they are working first the TV's remote control we try to increase the volume, try to decrease the volume, turn the TV off, but nothing happens. And now the DVD. We try to stop the movie. No, try to go forward, try to go backwards. It looks like that nothing is working. So our circuit is working fine. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to visit our website for more interesting projects.